What do you think, Ravi? Should I just start crying? Should I make this a crying video? Our tiller post was being shaped at the metal shop. We were here to measure and evaluate if the piece would fit properly and how the attachment point on the tiller would actually look. So this is the slicing machine, but it blew a fuse. So I don't think it's working right now. They're grinding it down by hand. There are tons of strays hanging around the shop, much like most of the town. What's this what's this random dog room here? Everywhere you go there's dogs for adoption. You can't walk one street here without seeing some nice doggies. A lot of the uh, stuff you see in here being made and a lot, of the, a lot of the work being done has to do with fishing. It's either the fishing boats or uh, it has to do with the packing plants, the fish packing plants, the ice making factories, everything has to do with the fishing industry. Our gearbox for our Volvo engine is also hanging out here in the shop. It's cast iron. The fellow working on our rudder post was describing here how someone had lost a leg in one of these ice crushing pieces in recent years at a nearby ice factory. Back and forth we were going now on the motorbike to and from the metal shop as the very important post progressed. The shop got the metal slicing machine up and working again to slice this nice and smooth. Now we wanted to check before drilling the holes that everything was lining up exactly. We brought it home to the boat to check and found out that indeed something was a little off. Here's the problem. I can see they have to take out just a couple of millimeters. From the top or the bottom? The top. So there's a scratch and then there's also... Um, yeah. Artwork. This is where your pr practice of relief drawings comes in. Every morning I go for a walk with Choco. We get off the dock, we go out onto the highway. It's not an ideal dog walking place. At every corner there's a pack of dogs. There's kind of dogs for every marina here that kind of guards their territory. So it's like a minefield when I go walking with the dog. I usually go for a little walk, bicycle or run with him and over the last couple of weeks, he's just been getting more and more aggressive when we encounter the dog packs. The reason we have him in the first place is he was one of these stray dogs out on the road and he must have been kicked out of a group or something happened. That's how we ended up having this little dog in our life. I've been trying to train him to not react so poorly with the dogs. Yeah, it didn't turn out well um, separating him from a bunch of barking and snarling dogs. I got 
bitten in the process. I can't really feel the finger very well that got bitten. I don't know if there's some nerve damage. It seems to be healing well, other than that. Because of the kind of hand injuries and head injuries that we have experienced since we moved aboard, we've got uh, experience cleaning out wounds, um, washing every couple of hours, rinsing with hydrogen peroxide, and redressing with some antibiotic cream, keeping the area very clean. I'm not on dishwashing duty these days, and I just want to get this hand healed up quickly and efficiently so that I can begin doing some tasks again. I feel pretty useless without my good and w functioning left hand. I actually had ordered a muzzle a couple of weeks ago, and it didn't come in time. But we are going to try something new. We did get the muzzle finally. It's a muzzle that he can open his mouth enough that he can pant and eat. And we're going to try and train him a little bit with that. Because, yeah, walking him out on the street with packs of stray dogs is is pretty much the nightmare. So I'm trying to make a positive association of fish pieces, bonito flakes, with uh, the muzzle. Mm, so you get a fish piece. Mmm, your favorite. Oh, you, you don't even like it that much. I'm training him and he doesn't like anything. Or stretch and lie down, that's fine too. Oh, you got the muzzle on. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it so much, but... Sit. Sit. You get a fish piece because you're wearing the muzzle. Yes. Good boy. I know you don't like the muzzle, but you have to have the muzzle on for your walk. Because you're a little menace. We started the daily walk without the muzzle. Sit. Sit. A couple of meters from the first stray dog pack, I initiated the muzzle experiment. Today, only the one small female wanted to come out and bark. For some reason on the morning that I was bitten, I had four dogs surrounding me. <laughs> And then when we passed the pack, we removed the muzzle. While Robbie was continuing on with Choco, I attempted to bribe the stray dogs with some dry food. Perhaps a little food would go a long way to try to get them to be friendlier. This is the pack of dogs that Choco's always fighting with. And I'm 90% sure that Choco bit me and not one of these guys. Although this is who he was fighting with. Now onto a really annoying project. We don't need this one to get off the dock but we're doing it because we're waiting for the metal work. Drilling to the deck and hull is never something we like to do, but it will be nice to have stanchions again. The second hole. Yeah. Are, yeah. are they going to the, to where the hull is thin or they're going where the, where the mass of coil is? They're where the hull is thin. So here we're testing out the method of installation and digging through the Tupperware of nuts and bolts to determine exactly what lengths of new ones we will need. It could even be a little bit shorter. Somewhat like the holes in my hand, they've pretty much gone away. 
but I'm not completely healed. I've not completely forgiven Choco, but I'm on my way to forgiving him. I still can't feel my finger. It still feels uh, numb and tingly like the first day that I got injured. Robbie was away once again, and I was going to install the remaining stanchions myself. The old stanchions were only bolted on with two bolts each, while these new ones have four on their base. That would mean drilling through the aluminum tow rail, which is very much possible, but takes a little extra patience. And of course, the drill went much more easily through the simple fiberglass of the deck. After each hole I made, I put the stanchion back to begin the next pilot hole. I could have just made all the four pilot holes at once, but this would definitely cause some alignment issues and things would definitely not turn out as exact. So again, the key here was to take the extra time. That would include drilling through the aluminum slowly and steadily. With each stanchion, I had to check for each hole that it wasn't going to run into anything on the underside. I screwed on the washers and the nuts temporarily. The next day, it was time to apply sealant because rain was in the forecast. Once again, we were using local sealant, which says it's good for marine use, and it seems to be the equivalent of a Sikaflex or a 3M4000, something rather flexible. After putting the sealant on each stanchion, I kind of tried to screw down the underside of it. But obviously the sealant was kind of hindering screwing on the nuts without spinning the bolt. I don't want to spin the bolt, of course. I want the sealant to make a nice watertight seal. For each stanchion, I also wanted to make sure that all the surfaces had a good sand and clean before installing. I decided to wet sand because I don't have time for that pesky dust anymore. That made it even more important to clean carefully with a solvent. And in the sun, everything seriously dried in several seconds. On the first stanchion, I had put a little less sealant than I needed. And now this time, I put a little too much. With the 10 stanchions to install, I eventually would find an equilibrium. I found the hardest part to be only cleaning off the excess sealant. A pair of latex gloves would have been nice, but we don't always have those readily available. Also, the boat next to me was playing plenty of copyrighted music while I worked. So here's some of my own music made in GarageBand instead. When it was all very dry, I tried the final task of tightening the stanchions down. The sealant worked pretty well as an adhesive. The bolts were not rotating too much, but I didn't want to risk breaking that seal. I would wait for Robbie to return so that one person could hold them in place while the second person tightens. Mm -hmm. 